Hey guys, my name is Keyshawn King and I'm a sophomore here at Stanford Men's Track and Field. Uh, it's a rainy day here in Liberty, South Carolina, so today's quarantine video will probably be taken inside, but it's all good. We're all happy. Hi everyone, I'm Reagan Jamoose. I'm a master's student on the women's lightweight rowing team. Right now I'm at home in Harbor Springs, Michigan. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy in their quarantine, and I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I've been doing while I'm at home. Hey Stanford, my name's Maddie Burnett, and I'm a sophomore on the women's gymnastics team, and I'm checking in with you guys here from Seattle, Washington. I hope everyone watching staying safe and healthy, and I'm excited to take you guys through what my online spring quarter has looked like, and what it's been like adjusting to life at home during quarantine. Hey Stanford, Taylor Kirkpatrick here checking in from Portsmouth, Rhode Island. I hope that everyone's staying safe and healthy during this time, and I also hope that everyone's getting excited for classes to finish up in the next couple of weeks. This quarter's been super bizarre, and I can't believe that we're entering our ninth week of this new normal. And while I haven't been able to finish up my Stanford experience physically on the farm, it's been really special to be at home with my family in Rhode Island for this time. As the quarter comes to a close, Stanford students are gearing up for finals week, something that we've been working towards since the beginning of quarantine, actually. Um, it's kind of been hard to merge academic instruction with home life. Like for, for, for example, um, here at my home, it's kind of hard for us to get good Wi-Fi because so, we live in such a rural area. So one thing that I do is kind of circumvent that is I drive to Greenville, which is the closest city. And I go stay with my cousin who has a reliable Wi-Fi connection. So I, I go and I stay with her in order during the week in order to, to get my schoolwork done. But just making accommodations, just like all Stanford students and Stanford professors have, you know, just just on both ends, going the extra mile just to ensure uh, success on both ends, both instructionally and educationally. My key to kind of navigating this quarter has been establishing some sense of normalcy or some routine in this time of uncertainty. Um, so each day I, t I tend to have a very similar routine. As, as I move into finals, my routine looks, looks largely the same. I usually wake up, have a cup of coffee, read the news, um, get a little bit of work done, and then um, I break mid-morning for a workout. And whether it's running, cycling, I'm, I'm, I'm really just trying to get outside and take, take a break from the screen and kind of recharge for the rest of the day. I unfortunately have not been able to get on the water for sailing, but um, have been learning how to kite and have been doing a little bit of surfing, and that's really how I've been getting my water fix. As finals are coming up, organization has been super important. Throughout this online quarter, I've used two main methods to stay organized and on top of my schoolwork. One of them is by using one large four subject notebook in order to keep all my notes and homework for my subjects. This makes it super portable and I can move and take notes room to room as I do my classes throughout my house. I've gotten the chance to step outside my comfort zone and try new things, such as in the classroom, I've been working towards more project oriented classes and as far as workouts go, I've been moving to more outdoor activities like neighborhood runs or body weight circuits. As I've been getting ready for finals, I've been having spent a lot of time writing and studying. I've really enjoyed being home and able to do that because I can hang out with my cats. During finals, I think it's especially important to continue to exercise and uh, stay active and give yourself a break from what you're doing. So this is what I've been doing a lot. Hopefully everybody and their family are staying safe, staying healthy, uh, just staying positive and maintaining their positive outlook. I know that uh, times are times are tough right now and that the future is not not the clearest, but it's just super important that we we just stay positive and just take advantage of, of every day that's given to us. One way that I'm I'm trying to take advantage of every day has just been spending a lot more time with my family. Uh, it's a it's a blessing that I could I could come home and spend a lot more time with them. So I've really been enjoying enjoying that. Uh, I'm the oldest of, of of three siblings, so my second youngest brother. He's a senior in high school. He's about to graduate in 48 hours. So we're super excited to, to celebrate his accomplishments with him and celebrate him. The graduating senior himself. Mm -hmm. With the shoes. Ooh wee. Yes, sir. And shout out to the class of 2020. Uh, I know that, that these times are tough, but but that does not negate the fact that you put in so much hard work and such uh, time and dedication to your education these past 12 plus years. So shout out to the class of 2020 and we're super proud of you. We, we're, we're super happy for you. We can't wait to celebrate with you. This time has made me especially thankful for my family here at home and my family back on the farm for helping me be successful in these adjustments. Thanks for tuning in. Good luck on your finals and go card. Whenever I'm not in Greenville, I just spend a lot of my time in this very room, uh, this very room studying. Uh, one thing that's really helped me study for finals has been incremental studying. 
uh, just really making sure that I'm, I'm, I'm in here for like an hour and a half, just really cranking out stuff, really studying. And then after that, I get to go spend time with my family. Because if you're like me, you don't like staying cooped up in your room for, for you know, hours on end while your family's just downstairs enjoying themselves. So that's one way that I've been trying to study for finals. Hopefully you guys do well on finals. Hopefully you guys uh, continue to, to grow and stay positive. Everybody stay safe, stay healthy. And I'll see you guys all when we get back to campus. Go card. My cap and gown just arrived the other day because I'm graduating this term. And I just want to say to everyone, uh, good luck on finals and congratulations seniors. I want to wish everyone the best of luck as we head into finals. We are super close. Keep on keeping on. Take a breather. Take some time to go outside. A little break from the screen. We can do this. Take care and go card. Goodbye.